the special exception for purpose of a change. Under the uh, addition that Mr. Lane has spoke of earlier. Okay. Any discussion on that? Submitted to the attorney for next era for some changes, and they have um, they have advised that they're okay with all the changes uh, except for one. One change that I, I, I would like to make uh, would be that we have the opportunity for, in the event of a default, the opportunity for a um, uh, trial by jury. Uh, but we're not willing to do that. That's the only exception to the agreements that they. That's something that the board <coughs> initially must uh, determine whether or not um, that's feasible for us to go forward without. Okay. Um, so that's in the resolution agreement. Well, both correct? agreements have that, and, and just just to, to add to that, with that in the event of a default in the agreement, then we would have the option of the venue is going to be here in Brooks County, regardless. It would be before a judge, just not before a jury. That's the, uh, the only. Um, a couple of terms I asked them to change, uh, Madam Commissioner, is um, one just to qualify what useful life meant. It's outlined as of now that the um, uh, that next error just determines what the useful life is. I told them that I would like to see a uh, delineation as to what useful life would be. Maybe tie it to the uh, output of the solar field for um, a time duration after the PPA runs out. Um, they assented to that and you know, as are working to define that for us now. According to the agreement, we uh, they allow for irrevocable bond. I asked that we do a surety bond and an irrevocable, irrevocable letter of credit. Uh, they, they have uh, and also to strike other other undertakings because that was vague to me. And they have um, taken that into consideration and they're, they're telling me they're willing to accept that. Jerry Charles um, term that I that we are waiving in, in the in both agreements, and I've asked that they assent to a jury trial. But I think it's highly unlikely uh, after the season that they won't do that. Uh, so we still have representations in the same. Yeah, we, we would just we would just. Um, it would be by the judge. By by judge in and, county, and Brooks County. And Brooks County. That's right. That's right. Um, Really, it's a very straightforward uh, agreement. It's going to give us the opportunity to, to have some backup uh, in the event of worst case scenario. Uh, what I would like to add um, that we have a we have an ability already in place in the worst case scenario that next era um, uh, solar two goes defunct. It would go into the same protocol any other property would that doesn't pay for their taxes. It'll go into a uh, FIFA and it'll be sold at the courthouse steps. So what I would say is that there's a lot of salvageable metals out there, uh, 26 pounds per array. And in the event that there was um, an event that they, the company went defunct, 
there would be multiple people that would look at the opportunity for purchasing the property just for the salvage. And then once it's salvage, you have clear property right for agricultural use. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is an additional layer. This is an additional layer on top of that. But it does, it does add the duty for the county to act. So it adds the duty for us to do something um, in the event which puts it upon the uh, commission to act in coordinating the decommissioning of the project. Uh, the, um, I know that is a very big uh, contention for the project, but from the perspective of a, bus a businessman, I would assume that anybody would see the value in 1,700 acres of cleared agricultural land with salvageable metals on top of it. So I'm just laying it out there in that manner. I don't have a vote. I'm just telling you what. Set the buffer. However, you deem, deem it, if you're motioning to grant it. Um, In the application, it was 80 feet. Can you all have increased that to some degree in some areas? Is that correct? Yes. Could, could I ask Mr. Lance, Mr. Mike, yes, to right. clarify that? Yeah. Because it needs to be specified. to any open or gaps within that where you can see improvements, we would be required to plant vegetative buffering so that you cannot see the improvements. Yeah, that is misleading. Um, where, where we're, and, and the fencing be placed in front of the natural vegetative buffer or behind? Behind. It? Not both lanes. That's correct. Behind the, behind the, I, mean, I just want to make sure it is, that it is specified in this special inspection, should it be granted, that it is clarified.